the channel. It's been a while since Sienna's last appearance here. It's a bit sunny, no, my love. But you have to subscribe and click on that bell button so that we can continue and move on with the rest of this vlog. Okay, so the house is currently a mess. We are finishing up with our packing and my stuff are a mess as well. I don't know where half the stuff are. Some are here, some are there, some are everywhere. But I will bring you guys along with the chaos that is my life right now. And so first on our agenda is to shoot some work first because we have some deadlines. Okay, so we've loaded everyone in the car. We're now on the way to a very far place. Just kidding. We're just going to my mom's place. We are gonna shoot our Uniqlo content there because there is no way we can shoot it at our current home because it's just filled with boxes. Well, mega boxes at that. <laughs> mega box containers and just lots of things that we're also selling. We're doing a major, major purge. This is already, I think, our major purge before we go into Kokoro House so that when we go to hashtag Kokoro House, everything is already like clean, organized. I don't have to feel so stressed anymore as I do right now. Soph is probably also very, very stressed. She has taken photos of how many clothes? <laughs> She has taken <laughs> thousands, thousands of photos. For shop, it's Camille Coin. You guys are snapping those stuff really, really, really quickly. But anyway, we're almost done, finally. I never thought we'd make it. <laughs> Did you think we'd make it? I had some doubts, but uh, you've been doing well. We've been doing well with a lot of help. So yeah, so now we're just gonna shoot Unico content for you guys. You're gonna see that on my Instagram very, very soon. Sienna is gonna be there as well because she's a Unico baby. And then we're gonna continue with the packing and the selling and the donating and the taking photos and the all sorts of stuff. I will bring you guys with me. Are you ready to shoot, my love? Are you? Yeah? Yeah! So she's wearing a full unique low look. First scene is gonna be her. She's already ready. Yeah, oh yeah. Ah, shoes. Ah, shoes, this girl. Ah, shoes, this girl. Sienna Bug. Sienna Bug. Where's mommy? Yay! Yeah. Baby shooting. <laughs> okay, back to shooting today. <laughs> Okay. okay, so we just finished shooting and that's why I'm in a different outfit again. And we just finished lunch. Sienna is back to take her nap. I'm gonna show you the current situation here at home. So we've got a lot of boxes here. There's a bunch of boxes that we already shipped out to our warehouse. And then we have here some things that we're giving to people or selling. Lots of those. And then I also nicely labeled all our stuff. So it's gonna be easy for us. So I really wanted to put them already in nice boxes so that when we move into Kokoro House and for example, these, we wouldn't need them. So they'll go straight to storage as well in the new house. So at least I don't have to take them out. I don't have to check everything that's inside. It's all already there. And we've moved all our furniture already aside so that we can use all this space for our sorting and packing and everything. So we still have a bunch of boxes here. Des is painstakingly removing the mega boxes labels because they're so hard to remove. She's already an expert by now. She's removed like probably 40 boxes stickers. We have so much stuff here. But slowly, slowly, we have the pantry still here, but everything else is already cleared out. Like our plates are all gone. We've been eating with paper plates now and disposables. So this is now the second floor, huge mess. Used to be messier, but anyway, this used to be filled with stuff that we were gonna bring to the next house we're staying at. So this is now how it looks, still with the other stuff. Already shipped out the first batch. And then these are the ones that are for shop it's Camille Call, the ones who purchased my old stuff. And then this is how our gym room now looks. My reformer is already off. And then I put all my acrylics and all my baskets here. I still have to sort all of that out. We've already started packing our pillows in these vacuum sealed bags. So pillows, comforters, beddings. And then my shoe closet is now empty. Already moved my shoes. 
Solve is here taking photos <laughs> to shop its Camille Co. So these are all actually being sold. Already sold a lot, but we still have a lot to shoot still. These are all going with me, these dresses. In the beginning, I thought it was never gonna end. Like when I started packing my walk-in closet, it was just I just I just thought it would never end. It's but look at us now. I packed it in probably two days or a little bit over a day in like just a few hours and then I would stop because then I would get lazy so I wanted to really be in the mood so I'd take out a lot of the stuff and I'd really purge a lot this is my biggest purge yet I feel like I purged maybe 35 to yeah maybe 35 percent of my closet shoes I took out 79 pairs would you believe I also took out so much bags so so many bags because I don't use them anymore I feel like with this purge you'd also see it in shop it's Camille Ko. all the fashion items are so much nicer than the ones before because before whenever I see it I'd be like oh this is still nice I'd keep it but now my motto is yeah this is still nice but will I wear it if I won't wear it then I'll sell it so even though they're still nice and I love them and even like with skincare as well I have so much skincare because every time I do collaborations with brands they send me so much in advance even if I'm only able to use like one or two at a time right so instead of them getting expired which used to happen to me all the time I decided to just let go of them it was so hard for me to let go of these skincare stuff because I really love the brands that I'm working with and I really love the brands that I have but because I only have one face and I really can't finish them all like for example with just this one brand serum they sent me probably I have like 10 of them 10 of these serums and I really won't be able to use all of them it would take me years so I finally let go of them I still have maybe three of them here but I started to let go of all these and and my accessories as well, I let go of them in because honestly, I just keep using the same accessories all the freaking time. So I let go of so much, so now I have so much empty space here. And even lipsticks, I used to have so much lipsticks. But then every time I do my makeup, I also end up just reaching out for the same few lipsticks. So I just got rid of all of them and just decided to retain super few lipsticks instead so you see our room now also we're using like old sheets because we want to pack our new sheets already and everything is empty even our bathroom is already empty oh my gosh look at that we've already started packing the paintings and all that these are all gone already we took them out yeah my gosh so yeah we started packing maybe four days ago or maybe a week ago but it wasn't like every day and it wasn't the entire day and we've done really good progress as well because we have so much help you know our Kokoro girls are helping us and we've got friends who are helping us and my gosh but at least it makes it easy when it's time to move to Kokoro house because everything's already packed and whatever that we didn't pack they're so much easier to lug around with us already so at least there's that I've also actually emptied my makeup drawer these are all empty. I've already moved them to acrylic drawers that are gonna go with me. So yeah. Some of you may be wondering why we are moving out when Gokoro House is not ready yet. Well, um, Gokoro House is supposed to be ready around June-ish, give or take, because you know how these things go. But our lease is already ending this month. And so Yoni and I were discussing if we were gonna renew the lease, but then we ultimately decided not to because we're not really sure how next year is gonna go for us and how next year is gonna go in general, like the first half of the year. We're not really sure if we're gonna do another long trip again or something like that. So we want to have our options open. We don't wanna be limited because when we went abroad a few months ago, we expected to be out for just like a month, I think. Yeah, it was only supposed to be a month and then it lasted three months. So then we had three months of paying for our rent, paying for our new home, and then paying rent as well abroad. So it was just so many different expenses and we don't want to have that same thing happen again next year. So we would want to be able to be more flexible and that's why we decided that okay, let's just not continue our rent. We'll move into secret still we'll move into this new place and then maybe we'll see if we're gonna do a long trip and then the remaining months that we're here in the philippines we're gonna maybe rent a beach house or something if the situation is still the same so at least sienna would feel a bit more free as well if we're by the beach we don't have to get scared about you know being in congested areas so now 
is packing plus workday. These past few days, I've been just packing and really just packing. I post every now and then, but then continue packing. But now I really have to shoot because I have so many deadlines. The next thing I'm gonna shoot now is for Gucci. It's for their Diana bag. If you guys are not familiar with this, it's called the Diana bag because it's actually named after Princess Diana, if I'm not mistaken. I think so. I'm basing this off of a documentary I watched before, but I really do think so. I think I'm right. Anyways, I'm doing two outfits. So I'm gonna shoot the first outfit here at home. And yeah, so I'm now dressed in Gucci, ready to shoot. Okay, so... Quiet on the set, quiet on the set. Quiet on the set, quiet on the set. <laughs> so this is our set. <laughs> um, we're just using our curtains from there to here because there's no other decent place to shoot here in this house, but I really have to shoot it already. So we'll make do. Okay, so two Gucci looks are done. We went out for a quick 30 minute shoot outside. And then I have one last thing to film for L'Oreal and Just Like That, which we're all excited about. The SATC, Sex and the City spin-off or continuation, depends on how you see it. And then after that, I can go back to my home life and start packing once again. But I know that we've got a lot of cyanatics over here. And she's awake from her nap! Say hi, Sienna Bog. It's your favorite. It's the camera. Yeah, that's you. That's you, my love. You want mommy? Mommy can hold you. You have to go change your diaper. You made poo poo, eh? It's smelly. <laughs> oh, I know. Okay, mommy gets. Mommy gets. Mommy gets real quick. Mm, no, you smell so good still. Ouch. Ah, you pulled the hair. I'll go change the first, okay? Change the first. Oh, so smelly, my love. <laughs> I won't press, I won't press. I give it to Yaya now. Okay, Yaya changes. Come here. <laughs> yeah, so you didn't see it, but I just finished my work and now I'm going to go pack. But we must put the Sienna bug to sleep first. What time is it, Hubs? 7.05. 7.05. So we have 10 minutes before we go to sleep. Sleep. She's looking at herself because the... Phone camera is there. <laughs> oh no, you dropped it. Oh, pick it up, pick it up. Boy. She picks it up. Ta da! She got it. <laughs> Bye, Cam Fam. I'll see you tomorrow when Mama continues packing. Get back. Bye bye. Bye bye. Moi moi. Moi moi. Say moi moi. Come on, show. Wait on Joanna. Wait for us. We're gonna wave. Bye. Get back. Moi moi. Hey Cam Cam, so it's already a new day. It's already the afternoon as well. I did not vlog the entire morning because Sienna woke up with a fever. And so now we've been putting her to naps and I had to finish work. And this is the only time I got to packing again. I really am dreading packing this area of the house because it's our office and this is where all the files are. And I have all my files from 2000 and 11 still so <laughs> I'm just this would have been okay without COVID because these were actually at the office but then everything has been collected here because this is where we work now yeah um, and it two times more difficult yeah and I'm also wearing a mask because I just had like one minute of opening the files and already oh. <laughs> so here we are it's gonna be a very exciting day You have 45 minutes to clear the area before my event. You can do your event while I'm here. I'm just gonna be on the side. Quiet. Quietly. Quietly, really. Shh. Not even here. So yesterday was not a good vlogging day. Sienna was 
experiencing some major major fever and some pooping sitch so we don't know we feel that she's gotten like a stomach flu but today she's feeling better right my love and we're already wearing the winning team's jersey making her daddy proud so this is the current situation of our office our home office i achieved a fairly good amount of um packing today is another packing day i really have to do so much packing because yeah you like the camera because tomorrow people are gonna start coming in to dismantle stuff and so i really have to do a lot of major packing okay let's go play first <laughs> we think she already knows how to say dada So yeah, we think she already knows how to say dada Which not, hurts mama But not mama It's okay, we know deep inside her heart she loves mama Right love ball? It's a game day today game Correct. Day. Correct outfit, yeah yeah glasses again no She's just saying da 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 without seeing you, so it's just it's not da da. She's just practicing her D. Right? It's gonna be mama still, right? Ma. Mama. So good! So good! Now back to packing. So I'm packing books this time around. All my yes, yeah, no. yes, yes, yes. 
to mommy vlog. Yeah? Okay, thank you. Okay. So, I'm packing my fashion books with me. I really love this book. It's this book by Joel Eula. He's a really good fashion illustration artist. If you watched Halston on Netflix, then this thing sounds familiar. What else do we have here? We have some coffee table books that was given to me. I also have a lot of these interior design books. This is a Kate Spade coffee book that was given to me. Martha Stewart weddings that I really wanted when Yoni and I were about to get married. But then I ended up not reading it. <laughs> I'm keeping it. Wedding dress coffee table book as well. A collection of these really good bridal dresses by Best Designers. I loved it, especially when I was still designing wedding gowns. I have here Kinfolk. Kinfolk Aesthetic. And then we have a Mandela book. My YouTube award. So many. I have a McQueen book here. Got some more stuff here that I have to pack. This book before we flew out from Big Bad Wolf. But then it took forever to arrive here, so I don't really need it anymore because Sienna's sleeping really good. But maybe for the next baby. We're now putting back our old doors. By we, I mean Yoni. So there's a reason why we changed our doors because everyone will be able to see inside. <laughs> it's an aquarium. Yeah. Kokoro aquarium. Kokoro aquarium, correct. Okay, so now I continue on with my favorite, favorite part of the room to pack. That's it for today's packing. We finally finished packing the home office. The dreaded home office. After giving up for one million times, probably. I've told Yoni a thousand times and giving up. But we did it! Yay! See you guys tomorrow. Bye! Good morning. This is the view of Kokoro House now. And then my walk-in closet right behind this door is currently being disassembled by SB Furniture. Are you ready? There you go. SB Furniture is now disassembling my walk-in closet. I've already talked about this when we first got SB Furniture when we moved in. I really love the fact that it can move with you and that's why even though we're in a rental, I had no qualms with really getting a customized closet because I know that I can easily bring them with me. And I am bringing them with me to Kokoro House. We are going to be able to use bulk of my walk-in closet. So my shoe cabinet is also by SB Furniture, so they will be disassembling this as well because we're gonna bring this with us at Cocker House. In just a day, they have already dismantled my shoe cabinet and my entire walk-in closet. The last time we saw this room like this was when we moved in. It looks big. Yeah, it looks big. And that's all of the walk-in closet stuff. And it's all neatly packed, all cling wrapped, and just waiting for the guys to assemble again at our new residence. Yay. You might be surprised it's not a new day. I'm fixed because I also had to shoot. It's so hard to have so many deadlines that I have to submit. So many drafts and then have to pack and then have to move stuff all consecutively. It's just, it makes my head so confused because I'm so type A that I feel like I have to be doing everything so organized. But anyways, yeah, so I must continue packing again now. The goal is to finish packing all the stuff already because tomorrow the furniture movers are gonna come and then the day after that, we're gonna be sleeping somewhere else already. So yeah, today is crunch time. For our vlog, 
it seemed like it was gonna be impossible to pack everything but we were actually able to do it and next time you see me vlog it's no longer gonna be from the Kokoro house kind of bittersweet i think we're really ready to leave this house already but of course so many firsts happened here in this home and i am kind of still sad to say goodbye to our first ever home but you know what? This just means we're on to greater and bigger things. So as usual, I'm gonna bring you guys with me. If there's anything that you guys wanna share with me, please make sure to leave a shout out down below. I love reading all your comments and give us a thumbs up. See you guys on the next vlog. Bye, Kokoro fam! Bye, Cam Cam. <laughs>